So, Jesse, what do we know here? Yeah, it's a really pretty wild story. Um, the SEC alleges that in 2020, the spring of 2020 in the U.S., when you know the pandemic was raging, um, and separately in Asia, there was um, you know China was was moving to be more aggressive with Hong Kong. This uh, this this company was trying to raise money through a share sale to to raise ostensibly money for a media company that would be a dissident voice against China. Um, they raised hundreds of millions of dollars, um, and it turns out 100 million of that money, people who thought they were investing in something that would be a dissident voice to China, ended up in a hedge fund. Um, and the SEC, uh, they did not name that hedge fund. Our reporting, we were able to determine that it's Kyle Bass's Heyman Capital, a, a fund that he, a strategy that he, he over, uh, his firm oversaw, and they were shorting the Hong Kong dollar, which is has been a disastrous bet, mm. and and they lost 95 percent of the 30 million dollars they actually invested. Um, so so it was a is a pretty substantial loss for the firm. So uh, give us some context here. What was the nature of Kyle Bass's bet on the Hong Kong dollar? Yeah, so he has been on and off shorting the um, the Hong Kong dollar for some time. Um, he you know there are there is indications. That he's been shorting it since 2017, took it off, put it back on in 2019. It seems to be pretty continuous since 2019. And then in the same period, spring of 2020, he he sort of doubled down on that bet. Um, he started a, a new strategy that was making a 200 200 leveraged bet that the Hong Kong dollar's peg to the uh, the U.S. dollar would would collapse. Um, and I mean, it's not. It's not an outrageous thought at the time. There was a lot of speculation, which you, you may remember in the Trump administration, that, that you know the Trump administration might actually try to punish China for moving more aggressively with Hong Kong. And in and a, and a one way that they were thought to be contemplating punishing China was to take action that would try to remove the peg. Um, it didn't come to pass. Biden won the election. Investors kind of broadly determined that that um, the peg was here to stay and it is here to stay and the bet has been has been a pretty big loser for Kyle Bass. So what are the major reasons as to why the wager didn't pan out? Yeah, I mean it's sort of it's sort of what I was talking about a moment ago that uh, that the the change in US policy, change in US administrations. I mean I will say that that Biden's administration has not Taken it, you know, necessarily an easier tone with China. They've been equally aggressive, but this thought that the, the U.S. presidential administration might take action to try to remove that decades-old peg between the Hong Kong dollar and the U.S. dollar, that for now seems off the table, and and that's why this bet has moved um, so massively against Heyman Capital and Kyle Bass.